Silver Ridge Peak since its release has always been the most popular reserve in the Hunter of the Wild, mainly because of the wide variety of species and large open areas it possesses, resulting in, without any doubt, one of the best maps to get diamonds and rares in the game. And even though it got a pretty significant update that changed a lot of the spots we used to know, the map is still as great as always, if not better. So, the goal of this speed is to show you the best locations and times as well as every single hotspot map to hunt all the species on Silver Ridge Peaks. Four twenty-four to 510 That is a diamond potential Rocky Mountain Elk. It's far from being a guaranteed diamond, but it certainly has a good chance to make it, although it won't be huge because it has a small level 5 rank which, as long as it makes diamond, for me is not relevant. Anyway, we found this guy in what is one of the best locations to hunt Rocky Mountain Elk after the update. This lake up here is still very decent to hunt the species at their new drink time. Now they drink from 4 to 8 in the morning, giving us a lot more time to hunt all the zones. Because before the update, we only had a small window to hunt them before the drink time ended. Since it used to last only 1 hour or even 30 minutes in some occasions, it was really short and it was simply a better option to go and look for feed zones. But fortunately, now that the drink time is longer, we can take advantage of all the lakes, making it a lot easier to grind these beautiful species and increasing our chances to find a trophy elk. Getting closer. The plan is to use the bow, so we need to get inside the ideal range, around 40 meters, maybe 60 because it's a big target, but ideally around 40 to be completely safe, of course as long as we win, let us get that close, because it's getting bad. Apart from this area, the Rocky Mountain Elk also inhabits a bunch of different locations, locations that make up what I'ma call the home range number one, which is essentially the only section of the map, the only home range where you can find Rocky Mountain Elk and one of the two home ranges inhabited by Black Bear, Bighorn Sheep, Merriam Turkey, Mule Deer and of course, the annoying Mountain Lions. That means that every single spot inhabited by Elk will also have the presence of all these species, because they are part of the same home range. All right, around 75, and the wind is getting really bad. Hopefully that helps. No, now he's alert and the wind is terrible. He's still a bit too far, so the shot ain't gonna be safe. But we can do it. Just gonna make sure to zero for 60 and aim a bit higher to compensate because it is closer to 80, so the arrow is gonna drop quite a bit. That's it. I guess we hit the neck, perhaps the heart. Beautiful picture. Now let's see how big it is. 469.5 gold. It is sadly not a diamond, but well, the shot was pretty decent at almost 77 meters, we barely hit the neck, but we also got a single long and the liver. Anyway, this lake is certainly worth checking if you wanna find a big elk or a trophy of any of the species that inhabit the first home range. The same can be said for the six lakes located on the western region. These are all quite consistent, especially for mountain lion, elk, bighorn, and black bear. Of course, at their respective drink times. We cannot forget that even though hunting drink times is always gonna be the easiest way to get trophies, Silver Ridge Peaks will always be an amazing map to hunt feed zones. So in case you're looking for feed zones for the species present on the first home range, here I leave you where I consider are some nice locations to hunt these animals while they are feeding. Especially useful to find Merriam Turkey since they don't have a drink time anymore. Now we're gonna go over the best locations where you can find the species that inhabit the home range number 2. The second home range is the home of many of the species that are present on the first one, including mule deer, black bear and turkey, plus a couple species that are actually exclusive to this home range, which are the plains bison and the pronghorn, and in fact these two species still live on the exact same locations as before the update, the only thing that has changed are the times. Now pronghorns drink at night from 6 to 9.30 pm 
in the plane's Python from May to 12.30 in the morning. The first of the best locations to hunt the species present on the second home range is the lake located in front of the wild turkey outpost. This place has been, in my experience, the single best spot to find pronghorn plains bison and mule deer drink zones. And even though they nerfed it with this update, it is still one of the best lakes you can visit on Silver Ridge Peaks, but it's just not as insane as before. Apart from that lake, there's not really another spot that really stands out inside the second home range. But since this particular section of the map is full of nice open areas, I'm also gonna mention some really nice locations to hunt feed zones. I really think these four locations are worth checking even before the lake is present on the region, mainly because on this reserve, feed zone hunting can be quite rewarding. Especially because, as I said, on this map there are many nice open areas where it's quite easy to spot the herds. Of course, as long as you check them at the feed time of your targeted species. And in case you are looking for plain spice on a pronghorn, I would recommend you to check these locations either from 6 to 8 am or from 4 to 6 pm, because these are the time windows in which both plain spice on a pronghorn will be feeding at the same time. So you know you kill two birds with one stone. That's a big boy. 87 to 102 estimate. You know, I would say it is a 50-50. As much as I like to say it is gonna make diamond, honestly it doesn't look too big, so there is a good chance it trolls, but we'll see. Getting closer. On this occasion, we're gonna use the Glock, and if I manage to get close enough, like around 20 meters or less, then I'ma take a hip shot. Let's see how close we are now. 42 already inside the regular range, but it's still too far to be accurate with a hip shot. Just gonna keep crawling towards him slowly, and we have to pay attention to when he is alert. So, as soon as that happens, we'll have to stop for a moment. Okay, he's alert. Gonna wait here until he's calm again. Alright. He's hitting again, so we're good to go. Now we are pretty much at 20. Insanely close. 18 meters. Oh. They are leaving the zone. I guess their free time is over, so we're gonna take a shot. Let's see. That's it. We got a bar. Perhaps our second diamond with this handgun. Hopefully it is. 98.04 diamond. Anyway, that is our second diamond with a 10mm Davani. Now, before we finish this video, we're gonna go over the third and last home bridge, which is the new home of the mountain goats. After this update, the mountain goats don't have a drink time anymore, making them a quite challenging species to hunt. Significantly harder than before, that's a fact. But as always, there are some nice locations where it ain't that hard to spot them. For instance, this area around this lake on the Sun Sisters region is quite a consistent location with good visibility, where as long as you put some effort looking around the mountain bases, you'll definitely spot some goats. The same applies for this area which is even more open, just don't expect to see a crazy amount of goats, because there can be quite some distance between each zone, and evidently not every single zone will be out there in the open, that's why it's very important to use the binos a lot, look around carefully, pay attention to the calls and especially to the tracks. You know, now it's actually challenging to hunt the species. A lot more realistic, I would say. 